In this video, we will learn how to write a transition matrix from a given transition diagram. So this the given diagram is a transition diagram and uh, you can see from here that there are three states S1, S2 and S3. And then you see these arrows here. So these are transition like say this arrow which is represented by value A. So mean that the value of transition from S1 to S1 is A and A is given equal to value 8. Similarly like say S2 here. So that's uh, S2 to S2 is B. So B is 0.1. Similarly we have from S2 to S1 but this value is not given it out. And similarly S1 to S2 gain arrow but value is not given we will figure it out and so on so let's start if we first label these states here say s1 s2 s3 and s1 here s2 s3 and from here you see that here so s1 to s1 is a a is equal to 0.8 right so s1 to s1 is 0 0.8 and uh, then you don't see anything from s1 to s3 directly right so it means that this is value is 0 s1 to s3 is 0 and now from S1 to S2, there is an arrow, but there is no value here, you see, right? So this, this arrow is here, but it doesn't have the value. But we can figure it out because the sum of each row must be 1. So this value here is this 0.8. So this is 0. So what we put here, so make the sum 1. So that is 0 0.2. So we would put here 0 0.2. So now this would sum would make it equal to 1 for this row. Similarly for S2, so transition here, so you see that uh, this B value here, so S2 to S2 is B and B is equal to 0.1, right? So this value B is 0.1, so we would put here 0 0.1. And also S2 to S3 is C, right? And C value is 0.8. So S2 to S3, so C which is equal to 0 0.8. And again, by the same rule that the sum of the row must be 1, so this figure here, we can figure it out. So 0.1 plus 0 0.8 is 0 0.9, so we have to put here 0, 0.1, right? So to make the row of, uh, sum of the row is equal to 1. Similarly, for S3, you see that S3 to S3 is D, and D is 0 0.7. So we we'll put here S3 to S3 is 0 0.7. And you see that there is nothing going on from S3 to S1 directly, so it means that this is 0, right? So this value is 0. And again, with the rule that the sum of the row must be 1, so we can figure out the value for this arrow S3 to S2. So that would be then 0 0.3 to make the sum of the row equal to 1. And this is your transition matrix.